shall we? Hello everyone, Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a live review of the new tune from Marshmallow and Sudden Death, Crusade. Not gonna lie, never thought I'd be saying this, but this is collaboration number two from EDM superstar Marshmallow and one of current dubstep's finest, Sudden Death. Sellout, which came out just over a year ago, was an interesting one at the time. I really appreciated it as a thing in itself and still do. Sudden Death working with a big tier pop electronic musician, more exposure for dubstep music, which can be interpreted badly, but I saw it as a good thing, giving the genre a certain respect. On reflection though, musically, when I hear it again, it does smack a little bit of square pegs in round holes, if you get me. It isn't so much a blend of their styles as just putting them together, but you know, whatever, cool one-off idea, don't take it too seriously, Connor. Yet here we are, a second collaboration. I'm intrigued as to where this has come from, uh, what has made them go for it again? What more there is to come from this duo, musically? Well, we have it, it's here, and you'll be getting my initial reaction and thoughts to it right now. Now, for anyone that may not be familiar, a live review is me listening to the music for the first time whilst recording. Kind of like a reaction video, but more about the review and response side of it. So I will be stopping the track every now and then to give my thoughts on it while listening, and also coming to a couple of concluding thoughts at the end by answering some questions I've already written for myself. But here we go, Marshmallow, Sudden Death, Crusade. Let's do it. I mean, the artwork definitely gives the impression it's gonna be a little bit darker than Sellout. What am I even looking at? That was very EDM. Oh, getting darker. Okay. Interesting. It's a very interesting mix of sounds. Definitely more of a blend than Sellout, which I commend it for. But whether it works for me, I'm not quite sure. It sounds a little bit off. Like there's, again, another clash that's just not really quite working. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm not hearing it right. Maybe it'll be different when it comes to... Uh, listening to it on headphones and whatnot, uh, yeah, maybe the sound will uh, have a bit more chemistry to it, and maybe others are hearing it a bit different to me at the moment. But um, you just kind of expect that these two, who are very prominent in uh, the electronic music world right now, they wouldn't actually go ahead and make something that doesn't quite sound right, if you know what I mean. So um, yeah, maybe it'll take a couple more listens, but at the moment, it's just sounding not quite uncomfortable. I think that's a bit strong. But yeah, just a bit weird as a combination of elements. Again, I could be wrong. It could just be me. Whilst I may not be that big on it right now, and it may take a few listens, who knows? I think, you know, you got to respect the fact that uh, when we get to the drop here, and it may be the same for the second one as well, I imagine there will be one. I just think we have to respect the fact that they have gone ahead and actually merged them a bit more. Yeah. It's good on that front. But yeah, there is something about it for me at the moment that feels a bit off, like the elements don't quite work together. Uh, yeah, a bit uncomfortable, a bit, yeah, just, I don't know. Not a truly organic chemistry going on there. But again, it could improve with more listens. So I think, how long are we in? One minute 20 in, and we've got a minute and a half left. So not even halfway. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to what more it has to offer. Uh, let's go. A bit of queasiness is lodging itself right here with that melody. Yeah, it doesn't quite ring true at the moment. Straight into that second drop, here we go. Oh! This one seems a bit more sure of what it wants to do. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Having heard the full tune now, I must say I also think uh, structurally it's a bit simple, a bit straightforward, 
We have intro, uh, kind of build, drop, then a really quite brief midsection, if you can even call it that. I would even say it's more like the introduction just being repeated, then another build, drop. Quite a nice outro, to be fair. I think that is what would elevate it beyond your very, very simple structure. But um, yeah, for the most part, not really uh, expanding on the idea, the sound we get in that middle part to give it a kind of moment of reflection, respite, to bring the track down and build it back up significantly. Second drop, for me at least, I think has much more of a sense of ownership to it, like the idea knows what it's doing, where it's going, uh, the direction of it, and yeah, it just feels much more confident in what it's trying to do. It just wants to deliver one hit after another of that in comparison to the first. I mean, it ends up sounding more like the first, but initially, at least, we have that. Also, I appreciate the little nod to Chaos by Must Die, uh, not in terms of the structure of the drops we get here, or even the sounds used or anything like that. No, it's about the pre-drop or the little fake out we get before the drop, the trumpets, I just love them, and it reminded me of Chaos by Must Die, as I mentioned, and yeah, I just think we could do with more uh, brass sounds in dubstep, trumpets, you know, uh, fucking trombones, whatever, I like it. Yeah, uh, just gonna give the track one more listen before getting into those aforementioned questions. <laughs> Still does feel a bit weird to me, can't lie. It hits hard enough. Definitely hits hard enough. But the sounds on top feel a bit jarring, a bit like they don't fit. Maybe it's just the melody that I'm not a fan of, really. This is sick. Nice. And then it reverts back to that. I don't know. That heaviness does just feel a bit weird. All the stuff is just a bit ill-fitted together. For me, anyway. This is very pleasant though, at the end. And, uh, yeah, there we have it. And now for those aforementioned questions. First off, what were your favourite parts of the tune? I think for me, Crusade comes down to specific moments and sounds more than general thematic stuff. For example, the trumpets before each drop as a little pre-drop fake out thing are fantastic, loving them. I love also how hard each drop hits, the percussion is so on point there. And also the outro I find very pleasant as a way of rounding it off nicely when it could have ended quite abruptly. I like the ambition of it as a mix of styles in the heaviest parts when uh, Sellout wasn't quite that uh, as a song overall as well. So uh, yeah, those are my favourite bits about it. Next up, what were your least favourite parts of the tune? Uh, first drop to me feels like a weird combination at the moment of elements, the heaviness, the melodic side. Just, yeah, feels a bit weird, a bit uncomfortable, ill-fitting, and yeah, those bits just not quite gelling together, if you get me. Could just be me, but that's how I interpret it, if you will. Parts of the second drop as well at that, yeah, as it goes on, the first bit of the first drop I like initially. Uh, sorry, second drop, but then it goes on to become more like the first drop over time. Main melody doesn't do much for me as well. We get it throughout the tune and yeah, again, one of those that just feels a bit weird and off that I can't quite get into at the moment. Introduction and builds feel like their sounds are just kind of being forced together and again, not gelling, not quite an organic chemistry going on there. Structurally, I find it quite straightforward and could have done with a bit more expansion in that middle part. Uh, so yeah, outro aside, I think every section here, I'm finding something I'm not that big on. At the moment, a fair bit I'm not quite feeling yet. And finally, what do you make of the tune overall? Parts of it I really like, parts I'm indifferent about, and parts I'm just not getting on with right now. It could grow on me, but I can't be sure of that. And I think at the moment I'm enjoying Sellout more. 
Uh, yeah, didn't think I would be saying that. Even though Crusade is a better blend of their styles in the drops, I don't think the result is quite there. Whereas with uh, Sellout, it may be more overtly sudden death, but uh, I think the drops are more confident in their ideas and how they go about that, if you will. I commend the ambition here, but whether I enjoy it is another matter altogether. Uh, so yeah, Crusade, a bit of a mixed bag for me. And so there we have it guys, my thoughts on the new tune from Marshmallow and Sudden Death at Crusade. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching. But what did you make of Crusade? Any favourite moments from it? Anything you would change about it yourself? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video then be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell along the way so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video to the channel. And my social media accounts are linked in the description box down below. And lastly, if you want to find some other live reviews on the channel, I will link them right here. And lastly, if it's naughty, then you know guys. So be sure, as always, to keep it naughty and stay safe. And I shall see all of you legends in the next one. Marshmallow, Sudden Death, Crusade. Live review. Peace out.